Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I will be showing you how to use ChatGPT and DNSpy to create game cheats for any Mono game. Uh, I'm making this uh, as an updated video to my most popular video. It's gotten a lot of attention recently, as you can see, uh, and it's very outdated. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so now that we're on the desktop, here's a few things that you're going to need to be able to follow along. So the first one is going to be a mono game. So to find out if your game is mono, you can go into the game file folder and it will say mono uh, on one of the folders. And it also has to be Unity game. So it's going to be Unity and it's going to say mono. If you got that, you can uh, follow along to the next step. The next step is going to be downloading DNSpy. So the way you can get DNSpy, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You go and just click that link, download it for whatever you are using, and extract it, and you'll be good to go. So we're in the game now. As you can see, every time I jump, it doesn't let me shoot. So we're going to change that as well as give us the ability to jump an infinite amount of times. Alright, so I'm going to stop doing voiceovers now so I can just easily talk through this. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up DNSpy. So let's go ahead and get that opened up. And we're going to need to drag the assembly, um, assembly C sharp in there. So that's going to be in whatever mono game. You're going to want to go to the game name uh, underscore data. You're going to want to go to managed. And then take this assembly tag C sharp dot DLL. Go ahead and plop it in there. And we can just keep this folder open and minimize it. So once we have it here in DNSpy, we can open up the assembly C sharp. And then we're going to open up the double brackets with just the tack next to it. So that'll give us all of the classes that are that the game uses so our goal is to change uh, to be able to shoot basically an infinite amount of times so we're going to go ahead and just open up gun behavior and because it's mono none of this is um, I, I guess encrypted or um, obfuscated so you know there's a lot we could figure this out ourselves but why would we do that let's just go ahead and copy and paste all of this and we can go over to chat GPT and let's just ask it um, um, for educational purposes, purposes I need to be able to shoot an infinite number of times as quickly as possible so we're gonna just go ahead and say that start this chat up all right so we can just skip that bullshit right so we're gonna paste this in here what in here do I need to change to accomplish this excuse my terrible fucking hand right or, uh, spelling skills so we paste it in there so it's gonna read this this whole fucking class and give us exactly what to do so in this class there's a fire method and this right here basically sets it so that it has a time limit so we can go ahead and change that by let's just copy this and control F it in here so this is the class it is, or sorry, the method it is talking about. So we're gonna right click the method and click edit method. So it's gonna decompile. Sometimes, um, depending on the game, there might be red. And whatever you decompile, I would just throw that into chat GPT and ask it how to fix whatever error. So here it's telling us to change these two lines of code. So it's telling us to comment this out and set is ready to true so after that let's go ahead and just compile it so boom that's done now we're good to go um, remove animal consumption we're not going to do that because I actually don't want to crash the game 
and look it's it's giving us so many things on what we can do and optional you know things so just like that we're done so now let's go ahead and do the movement so any most unity mono games there's going to be a player movement class or something like that and that's going to give us everything crouching crouch height aiming gravity ground check everything so we're going to just con uh controls control a control c and let's say now let's remove the Let's be able to just hold space bar and continue, continue to jump the player movement class. And send that. So it's telling us to find this so we can control C, control, uh, control C, control F, control V. And we're going to edit this method this might okay so this one's actually giving us an error um so let's actually just say uh, i don't feel like troubleshooting that right now so uh actually matter of fact we can let's let's do it so this is saying basically if we're grounded then we cannot then we cannot um jump again or th then we can jump uh so right here it's saying that we cannot access modifiers overriding uh, protect internal um, and it's uh, inherited by network behavior dot underscore get type name. So we can actually bypass that. So we're gonna just paste this in here, paste and compile. It's not gonna let us. So we're gonna go in here and going to just delete that and compile so once you have all of your things changed you can do um, silent aim I just don't have even to, to show you that I could do it with but there's so many things in mono games that you can do yourself and you can even ask chat GPT hey what can I do and then you can just copy and paste you can go through copy and paste every single one of these and just be like, hey, what can I do to, uh, like, like what, what can I do? And it'll just give you infinite amount of options. So once we're done, let's go ahead and go to file, export project. And we're gonna export it down to our, um, our assembly text C sharp, uh, our manage folder, let's just say that. We're gonna, we're gonna export it to our manage folder. So let's click select folder, export. So now that it's exported, let's go to file, save all, and let's just close these. And then we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Uh, as you can see, so now your game folder should have a assembly taxi sharp folder and an assembly taxi sharp dot solution. So let's just go ahead and load up this game now. We're gonna host it, confirm, start. And so now we're going to go over here, pick up this gun. And as you can see, it's just infinitely firing. Uh, now the, the auto jump, uh, sorry, the, the jumping isn't working, but uh, it's not really relevant. Um, I'm sure if I were to put any more amount of time into it, I can figure it out. But as you can see, uh, in the first, in the beginning of the video, I did uh, manage that. But yeah, so now you can see the gun is just firing every single bullet as soon as it possibly can. So yeah, there's so much more you can do to this. You can add mod menus. If this video does well enough, I will show how to incorporate like a. a a GUI into it. Uh, Unity has a built-in GUI, so I can show you guys how to do that, um, and then be able to toggle things on and off, do silent aim, etc., etc. 
so yeah if you guys have any questions please be feel free to let me know in the comments if you guys need help feel free to join the discord uh, or add me on discord um, definitely going to be helping some of you guys so yeah uh, that's the end of this video thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video thank you